So guys, we weren't going to go out today, but then we realised we're two Aussie thrifters. We can't not go op shopping. That's what we do. So we're going to go out out op shopping, and we're going to hit a tip shop as well. Oh, I love the tip shop. I do love a good tip shop. Let's do it. Uh, and fifteen dollar challenge. Mm, fine. We're going to do a fifteen dollar challenge. So we're both going to try and find an item for under 15 bucks and the best item you guys get to vote on at the end hopefully i win this one because you're one nil up oh yeah do you have your game face on that does look like a game face a resting game face <laughs> let's go get some awesome stuff so this is the tip shop let's go find some cool gear Oops. Maybe that. Maybe. What's wrong? Can't you reach it? <laughs> what is it? KFC. Alright, some cool gear in there. Got a PS2 Silver. Um, this is pretty cool. Kentucky Fried Chicken. Nerf Gun. Looney Tunes. A PS1 with all the controllers and that. And this Hot Wheels thing. So, uh, on to the next. It's on the list. Goodwill! Oh, uh, we went past it! What are you doing? I'm going to Bacchus! Ah, Operation Feed Jasmine! Let's go over there to the Goodwill that we passed earlier. What are you doing over here? Yeah. <laughs> How much did we get for our challenge? Fifteen. So if I spend twelve dollars on these floral and green Doc Martens, you're probably gonna win. <laughs> you turn. It's not over. Jasmine, did you just win the challenge? That's only the second place we've been to, but I'm, I think I'm in the lead. I'm also, so mad. Glass scuba mask. I'm so mad. I got distracted looking at jeans while you searched through the shoes. And you found awesome Doc Martens. Damn you! <laughs> I'm gonna get you back. I'm gonna win this. I'm scared now because you're, you're I can't, competitive. I can't go too nil down, guys. I can't. I, it's, it's not good for my self esteem. <laughs> Alright, let's go to a few more so I can beat Jasmine. Alright, we're going into Salvo so I can find something to be competitive with that last ridiculous Come on, score. Step it up. I'm trying. So, neither of us found anything in there. Zero. Zip. We did just miss out on a gorgeous mint green Remington typewriter Yeah. for $45. We spotted it right as someone picked it up and bought it. So sad. That was, that was very cool. Let's go somewhere else. All right, on to the next. <laughs> Going into the rotary, hoping to find something. Okay, Bradley, what is that? I just bought us a new filming camera. Because, you know. Oh, it looks high tech. Yeah, this one's compact, guys. <laughs> Into the salvos, which is sometimes expensive. Let's have a window shut while we're here. Jazzy is still well and truly in front at this point. I'm getting a bit worried because um, I'm running out of stores. So, got a Zumba in that one and another Wii game, Wii Resort, boxed. Um, Brad's great at Zumba. Yeah, I smash him. Zumba. Not. Um, so hopefully I find something cool, otherwise this is gonna be an absolute rout. <laughs> On to the next. So Jasmine took a wrong turn, so we're going to save us, but she's supremely <laughs> confident that I can't beat her, but I feel like she might've just put me in, in an opportunity. Okay then. I might have got myself back in the game. I don't want to admit it. Stephen Datner leather jacket. How much coming in on the uh, fifteen dollar budget? Fourteen ninety nine. Oh, so cool. <laughs> Why? Why did I take that wrong turn? Grab my jacket. Oh. Guess we're back in the game. Damn it. Hey Jazz. What? 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 What, what just happened? <laughs> you found some rando jacket. Oh, I found a Stephen Datner jacket. Turn it off, I'm cranky. 14 dollars 
I believe that's under fifteen dollars. Oh my god! And he just uh, that was a bit of a clutch play and a very lucky one because we weren't even going to go there. It's uh, my fault, really. Yes, yes it is. Uh, we're going to one more, so it'll be interesting to see if we up our $15 item. Wild card. Wild card, last ditch effort. So let's see what happens in this one. Last one for the day. Who's gonna win it? What are you looking at? Stop distracting me. This is my domain. We done. Time to head home and show you everything we got and decide who the winner is. Uh, it's gonna be pretty tight, I think. There's, I don't know. Yeah, you guys are gonna have to decide for sure because um, it's pretty close, I reckon. So let's head home and show you everything. Right, yo, back home for you guys to decide who's won the $15 challenge. I'm so nervous. It's actually, I think this one's probably a little bit tighter than the last one. So it's gonna be interesting to see what happens because <clears throat> I got pretty lucky near the end there. You struck it rich real early. And I was pretty worried right up until savers. I was pretty confident up until savers. So it's gonna be interesting to see how this goes. But what we'll do first is we'll go through everything else we picked up today. Um, while we're out on the hunt, we didn't get a massive haul, but that's okay. A lot of hard goods today. So um, that's quite good. We weren't really looking at clothing too much, which that's okay. Um, hard goods are nice and easy to list. So I'll get the big kahuna out of the way first. Mm. Just this uh, Nerf Volcon, um, I don't even know, gun. It has all the bullet, um, bullets and the, what would that be called? Bullet train? Bullet train. Bullet train. <laughs> Magazine. Magazine. That'll do. So let's put all that with it. I paid 10 bucks. Um, some of these, when they're complete like this, can go for like 89. Crazy, so some few. This has a tripod. What yeah, it has heck? a tripod down the bottom. Um, and I might flip it locally so I don't have to post it. Bloody chunky. Because it does a master. Um, but yeah, 10 bucks. So, nice Did little Did you get one? Yeah, I put the other one back. Because there was another one that was like a... I don't remember what series they are, but they're different colour, the green ones. Nitron, oh, I think yeah, they are. Oh yeah, like grey. And they have the green bullets. Um, the round ones, they don't go for as much as the original stuff, so... We haven't had an F4 in a while, but I'm kind of glad you only got one. <laughs> Coming up to Christmas, um, that should go quite well. Nice. What else do I talk about this? This is my tip shop find. Uh, Kentucky Fried Chicken. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's probably actually just going on the shelf. Um, we picked it up for 10, they sell for about 25 30. Uh, but it looks exactly like my Pizza Hut one. It's so. super cool. I think. Um, if we don't keep it, probably Retro Rescuers might steal it off us because... Ah, oh, they probably have one. I'm keeping it. They like the <laughs> It's so cool. <clears throat> um, I picked up this Hot Wheels 48 Derby car container. Um, I don't really know what they're worth, but being Hot Wheels, I thought for four bucks, uh, surely I can get, you know, even if I put that locally, 10 to 15 bucks. So if we had a garage sale or something like that. We probably need one. <laughs> yeah, they're pretty cool. Uh, this one's from 2007, so just something different. We don't pick up stuff like that normally, but whatever. Yeah. Next, we got <clears throat> what's this baggie? Uh, so that goes with the PS1. So this is like the original smaller PS1. Yeah, it's tiny. Um, it does have a bit of a faulty button, so I'm gonna have to repair that. But I should be able to do that pretty easily. Some of these get stuck um, when they get dirt on the inside. Just builds up. Um, but don't I you just blow on it. Go on. <laughs> um, yeah, so I should be able to fix that. Um, came with little cords, two controllers, um, and I ended up doing a deal because they had some, I'd say, reasonably high prices on this. This bag says forty dollars. Yeah, I didn't pay that in the end. So I got this, and also the PS2, which is a silver, um, with two controllers, and a third controller, which is like that um, see-through green type controller, for seventy dollars all up. Now, I'm probably not going to put these ones on eBay because once I start paying fees and shipping, um, I'm not going to make much profit on it, so I'm going to do these local. 
um, and I'm expecting it to, to double up the money. So not huge profit, but gaming gear is hot, so it'll sell pretty quick. I'll just test everything, make sure it's working, um, and we should have any problems. That one there might go on eBay because that's a more rarer um, controller. Um, so yeah, I might put that one on there, but the rest of it will probably go locally, I reckon. Okay, we'll have fun testing it. Yeah. I'm sure we've got some games for it. We probably have some right here. We Zumba, Brad's favourite. Yeah, so I think I paid three dollars for that one. Yep. Um, these are just a sort of fifteen to twenty dollar games. Uh, true, um, what's that? Don't know. True Crime, <laughs> New York City. Three, paid three bucks. This one goes a bit higher, so I was surprised when I looked that one up. Cool. Um, I might find a comp and pop it maybe here, <laughs> because I can't exactly remember how much it was going for, but. It seemed to be a good seller. Not too shabby. And then I picked up just these three PSP games. Um, Ratatouille, Tekken Dark Resurrection, and Grand Theft Auto Vice City Stories. Paid $3 for all of those. She gave us a bit of a discount, which is weird, because she just said four times three, so whatever. Thanks. Um, and they were looking about $20 games as well. So not huge profits, but Coming into Christmas, this stuff will fly. So nice, love quick sales. Um, I also grabbed the Looney Tunes VHS. So this is the bumper collection over two and a half hours of cartoon fun. Um, picked that up for three dollars, and comps are looking at like twenty five thirty. Nice. Um, but we've sold a few of our VHSs, so there's a spot on the shelf. So I thought, why not? Yep. Uh, I actually got this one for free. Um, it was a dollar. It's just a HP Office Jet eighteen. Uh, it is expired. Um, I don't know what the 18s go for, but I think we've sold a couple of these before, so I just grabbed it because she threw it in a lot for free. So. Why not? Yeah. Uh, and we'll just put in the description when it expired, and we'll still sell it. Like, we, we sell expired inks all the time, so. Yeah. Win. And we just say that we guarantee it as well. If it doesn't work for you, then we'll just yeah. refund. Um. Um, I think that's your last game there. Oh, yep. So, just We Resort. It's actually sealed from um, Big W, so... Um, brand new, um, which is awesome. I paid five dollars, so um, that's pretty cool. I didn't look up comps on this one, but I know that Wii Resort goes better than the Wii Sports. And being that it's box brand new, I was pretty confident I'm going to get more than five bucks back on that one. You'd think so. Yeah. <laughs> um, we picked up a little Sony Dream Machine. We've sold a few of these. They're usually the silver ones, so I don't know the if this black, one's yeah. a bit older. Um, but it's tagged as tested, and we'll test it again, and we usually don't hang on to those for too long. Nah, no. so the black ones we tend to get about $44.95, the white ones are a bit, um, I don't want to say rarer, but they're just harder to find. Um, so people pay a little bit more for them, so probably, oh, really? probably about 49 to 55 I reckon. Cool. And we'll ship that in a BX one, so it'll be $10, 25 or something to ship. Alright. Alright. Alright then. That'll do. This was actually from the very last op shop that we just hit up, and it was the last find of the day. Yeah, so this is just a Canterbury um, long sleeve um, polo shirt, I guess. Um, but it's got heaps of different panels, so um, the ones with all the different panels seem to sell a lot higher. Um, so it's pretty cool, size large, crazy colours. Certainly um, is different. We haven't sold, we haven't picked up Canterbury for quite a while, but um, I saw that there and it was three bucks, so. It's interesting enough for three dollars. Definitely. Um, something else interesting. That was a great segue. Really. Yeah. Big. Um, picked up. I wonder if I can say it. Kinugawa. It is a tempered glass, like snorkeling, scuba diving, whatever underwater <laughs> mask. When you go swimming. Oh. Uh, no, <laughs> With your glasses on, that's going to be a great look. Um, there's one of these listed, something similar, for 90 something dollars, and wow. there's a sold for over $50. Wow. So, I just thought for $4, that's different enough and high quality enough that I'm gonna see what happens. That's very cool. Nice pickup. I feel like someone might even just buy it for like decor, just as a decorative piece. It's really cool. That is very cool. Speaking of other cool items, oh, we did it again. I picked up this cool, cool uh, long sleeve. It's it's probably like a, a windbreaker. It's not really a jacket because it's too thin, um, but it's a full zip front. Um, so that's pretty awesome. Um, cool is a good brand. Cool. I never find it. It's like only this is in the probably men's section. The second one I found. We found those pants that we sold, and now this. Um, so I did pay about twenty bucks for this. So pretty high. 
Um, but looking at comps, I should be able to get sort of 69 to 79 out of that. So that's pretty nice. Lovely, lovely. Uh, one more item before we get into the real, real nitty gritty. Mm. So this bad boy is very interesting. Um, so I found this in that like rotary op shop. It's this Panasonic VHSC cam recorder. Now this has like all the bells and whistles of a crazy camera. So I will test it out. It's got the microphone. It's got this like viewfinder extender. Um, it's got batteries, it had the charger with it, it's even got the instructions in there. Our next episode will be coming to you on uh, VHS. Yeah. There's the instructions. Sometimes you can just sell instructions, so helps so, out. Yeah, and there's heaps of like pockets in here and there's like bits and pieces floating around everywhere. So, um, I couldn't find too many of these up on eBay because they're super old, obviously. Um, this has worldwide sponsor of the 1992 Olympic Games. <laughs> So these are old, and this guy must have spent quite a bit of money because he's got yeah back in the day everything on it. Um, I don't even know what half of these things are in. There's a light. Um, there's like a there's buttons lens. and gadgets and where's my gigs? Um, so I'm obviously going to have to test this. But I found one of these in I think it was Ireland actually. Ireland that is sold for seventy pound, which is about one hundred and forty bucks. Um, so they had this at the op shop for eighty um, or best offer. And I just took it out the counter. I said, oh, hey, look, um, the best I'd be able to do would be 50. Is that okay? And she's like, yeah, that sounds all right. Because um, not too many people are going to buy something like this, I don't think, um, from an op shop, especially at 80 bucks. Um, all the bells and whistles, charges there. So we'll charge up the battery and see if the battery's still good. I don't think we're going to have the right... Actually, there might be a cassette in there. I think there's a cassette in there. So it looks like there's a VHS cassette on the reel which is pretty awesome, so we might tape it. Hopefully there's no weird stuff on there. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, something very different. Um, and being Panasonic with all these bells and whistles, I just wanted to see what we could do with it. Yeah. So I'm gonna shoot for 200 on this. What? Um, with the bag, I'll give them the bag. The bag's not like anything special, but um, you know, it's nice to have that. Um, so it'd, cool. it'd be interesting to see if we sell it. Um, and if it doesn't work, she did say, just bring it back with the receipts. So yeah. No so risk. yeah, it's it's just different. I like it. It's different. I like it. It's different. It's unusual. <laughs> yeah. So keep your eye out for that sort of stuff. Look them up if you can. Sony obviously does a lot better um, in that sort of gear, but um, that one's that one's pretty high quality, I reckon, for its age. So nice find. You're pretty high quality for your age too. <laughs> That's rubbish. I'm gonna show mine first because I found mine first. Shall we talk about what happened? So obviously we went out like you saw and we did a $15 challenge. <sighs> we walked into Goodwill and I was searching through the men's section and then I hear this this little sound coming from over the corner <laughs> there and I was like, what is that? And just over there like, oh yes, I can't believe it. Like, I don't know, you made some weird... I like, don't make weird sounds. You, it was a weird sound. And I looked over and what did she have in her hands? But this awesome pair of Doc Martens. I yeah, can't baby. believe you found these for under 15 bucks. Even as I was reaching for them, I was like, it's not, it won't be. It says Doc, they must be fake. It's not. And show them the They're inside so of the... So, this is Ladies Doc Martens Floral Inside. They're actually dark green colour. Yeah. Oh my god, they're so beautiful. Look and at that. And the are perfect. And they were $12 for the pair. That's ridiculous. So that's, that's an extremely good find. Um, I will. I was very nervous when she found these. I was like, there is no <laughs> way I'm going to find something better than that today. Um, luckily, you took a wrong turn. Oh, we weren't meant to go to Savers. I just missed the turn off. We ducked into Savers. So I actually found something that I'm pretty happy with and I think really cool. probably on par with yours. So yeah, what do you reckon you're going to get out of those? Uh, I would put these up for 140 and I reckon yeah, I'll get it. At least. Like, they are awesome. They're really like, like dark green colour as well, so they're different. So beautiful. Um, they're going to be nice to photograph as well. Yeah, but the are. item that I got, um, and I'm super happy that I came across it because otherwise I would have been screwed, let's be honest. I would have been showing a game that was worth 20 bucks <laughs> and you would have been showing some shoes worth 150 so, I found this Stephen Datna. Um, it is a leather jacket. Um, it's a longer leather jacket, which that. is awesome. 
Um, really color. Super cool color. It's got crazy deep pockets in there. Three button. Um, it's just it's stunning. Like, it's actually wicked. It's actually a very nice jacket. Now we've had a bit of Stephen Datner before, so we've had the pants um, yeah. that we sold for about a hundred, and they were just like a plain black pants. Yeah. Um, this is different. This is just pretty unique. This is not a pair of black pants. No, no, <laughs> it's just it's pretty awesome. I, I really like it. Um, I was pretty happy when I saw the price tag because I thought, no way, it saves the Stephen Datton going to be under fifteen. They're usually thirty-five or twenty-five dollars, and this Jenny Git got it for fourteen ninety-nine. Fourteen ninety-nine. So mad and so proud. So <laughs> the, I'm going to shoot pretty high on this because it's very unique. Some of the plain black leather ones go from anywhere from like eighty up to one hundred and seventy. From the comps that I've seen, and for the length and colour and quality that you've found, in my non-expert opinion, <laughs> I would say that you've got like $120 there. Yeah, so value-wise, we're pretty pretty close. Yeah. Um, uniqueness, we're pretty close. They could both reasonably go for $130. Yeah. They're both awesome colours. <laughs> so what we need you guys to do is leave us a comment who has won today's challenge, $15 thrifting challenge. I don't even know. This I'm one's nervous. probably too close to call, actually. So. I really thought that I had it. I was oh. laughing. I was like, <laughs> there was, I, was, I was so scared that you were going to go 2-0 up straight away because I had nothing at that stage um, to, to be contribute. fair, I do need to say that every weekend we're huh. competitive. And last weekend, Brad definitely won with his new Merrells, but I forfeited. Yeah, it doesn't <laughs> fail to me. Um, so she was super confident today, which is why she followed through on the challenge with her awesome Doc Martin. Brad also put it out there live that we were doing one, yeah, so, I so she back couldn't bail. <laughs> um, so leave us a comment, tell us who's won. Is it my awesome brown leather Stephen Datner jacket, or is it Jazzy's awesome Doc Martin green? How many? Violet is that like 12? I haven't counted. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. That was a good guess. 12 violet boots. He knows his docks. Um, man, I, I don't even know if this gonna go. was. I should have asked for a discount because if this was one dollar cheaper, I could have included it in my 15 dollar no, challenge. It was a one item <laughs> challenge. You don't get to add so items cool. together, otherwise, I would have added like 20 games together. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, so leave us a comment, tell us who's won. Please let it be me, otherwise Jasmine's going 2-0 up and I will not be able to live that down. <laughs> um, leave us a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe guys. So thanks for coming along today. Um, we had a bit of fun and we got some pretty awesome items. So we'll see you next time on Two Aussie Thrifters.